all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. It's difficult to remain an unbeaten world champion in the sweet science. In fact, it's just hard to remain unbeaten. When some title holders do get beat, usually it's a sign they either weren't talented enough to stay at that level, or they are past their prime. But when long-ranking world champions that are most definitely talented enough and are in their prime get defeated, fans wait anxiously for them to return. One former world champion finds himself in that exact situation. For the majority of Al Alacron's career, he used to do the stinging. Are That's you it. kidding it. me? That's it. The former WBC super featherweight champion Miguel Burchelt replicates a scorpion in a lot of ways. This makes sense, considering that's what El Alacron means. Instead of stingers and venom, he carries gloves and mean uppercuts that leave the same effect on his opponents as scorpions leave on their prey. Or at least that was the case after his first pro defeat back in 2014. From that point on, he was on the hunt in the super featherweight division, stinging everyone in his path. He went on a 10 fight stoppage streak and capped it off with a knockout to take a belt away from WBC world champion Francisco Vargas. And after his first successful defense of the strap in a fight that went the distance, he went back to his stinging with six straight knockouts leading up to the biggest and toughest fight of his life. He was matched up against unbeaten former featherweight champion Oscar Valdez. It's safe to say, Burchelt got stuck. Or maybe more appropriately stated, he was stunned, along with everyone who witnessed that fight. Punches like that, performances like that, are very difficult to come back from. And nine times out of 10, when a fighter does decide to return to the squared circle, they take a tune-up fight to get the rhythm back. For Al Alacran and his Mexican fighter mentality, that wasn't going to be the case. He is not only taking his talents to another set of species in the stacked lightweight division, but he is taking on another hard-hitting challenger in Jeremiah Nakatilla. In his 24 fights as a professional, he's won 22 of them, with 18 of those wins by knockout. Most recently, Nakatilla is known for losing to Shakur Stevenson in a very conservative fight that went the distance. There is a lot of intrigue in seeing Burchell take on the likes of Ryan Garcia, Gervonta Davis, Vasily Lomachenko, and Devin Haney. But first, he needs to prove that he can still sting at an elite level. That's how he gets back to the respected but feared world champion that he once was.